Hey guys, so if you're looking at private label rights and you want to understand what the various licenses mean, this is going to be a great video for you. I'm going to go through those various licenses in a lot of detail so you can make your own choice about the types of products that you want to buy. And then for PLR, I'm going to show you how you can actually use that to generate money online. So my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. In the School of Nomads, we share information, we share tips and tricks, and I do product reviews in the make money online niche. So go ahead and hit that subscribe and the notification bell. We release videos on a regular basis and any questions, please leave them below in the comments. So whenever you buy information products online, they'll come with a license and that license can vary depending on what kinds of things you can do with that content. So the four main ones you'll see online are private label rights, master resale rights, resale rights, personal use or read only rights. So I'm going to go through each one of these in a little bit of detail so you can understand exactly what kind of use they will be to you. So the first one and really the most flexible one is a private label right. Products that come with private label rights allow you to do a number of things. You can edit them in any way that you choose. So you can rebrand them, you can put your own name on them, you can reword them, you can reformat them into different formats. So it could be a book that you reformat into a video. It's very, very flexible in the types of things that you can actually do with it. The other thing you can do with private label rights is you can sell the master resale rights or the resale rights to others. Now this is very useful if you want to have a product that other people can actually sell, it makes that product a lot more valuable. So it's very flexible PLR, and there's a lot of things that you can actually do with PLR. The one thing you can't do with PLR is you cannot claim copyright because many, many people will actually purchase that PLR and they'll adapt it in different ways. So you can't say that that material that you have is copyrighted. So with master resale rights, it's slightly different to PLR. The main overall difference is they usually come in non-editable files, which you can't change. It can differ slightly by licensing terms, but overall, if you've got master resale rights, you end up with a finished product that you can go and sell. Now your customers could also sell that. So it is a benefit to you to be able to sell resale rights to people because it allows them to also sell it and it's more appealing and becomes more valuable. But essentially you can't change a lot about that product once you buy the master resale rights. You're allowed to keep 100% of the profit. Having said that, sometimes you can resell the master resale rights to that product depending what the original vendor is allowing you to do. So for resale rights, because you're only allowed to sell that to others for personal use, it's a little bit more restrictive. So if I sell that to a client, they can't resell that product. They can only use it themselves. It can make it less valuable to them because they're not allowed to resell it to anybody. But if their aim is just to read it and gain knowledge from it, again, it could be just a valuable product that they can buy. So the last one is personal use rights. So personal use rights mean that I can only use it as an individual. I cannot sell that particular product. I can copy it for myself, but I cannot distribute to anybody else. So it's very restrictive. So that was just a quick look at the various terms, but essentially overall, PLR, you can adapt and change in as many ways as you want. You can rebrand, reformat. It's a much more valuable kind of product to get because it gives you much more flexibility. Also with PLR, you can sell either the master resale rights or the resale rights or the personal rights. It depends exactly how you want to sell that product. So it gives you lots and lots of options. With master resale rights, you can sell the resale rights or the personal rights, but you tend not to be allowed to change that product. There can be some slight differences in licenses, but overall that product is fixed and you're just allowed to sell it on a slightly more restricted basis. For resale rights, you're really only allowed to sell that to others for personal use. So it could be something that people use just for informational purposes, and that might be useful to you to be able to have that, but essentially, it is a much more restricted license. And then of course, personal use, you're really not allowed to sell that, you're just allowed to read it yourself. Now, depending on the license, it gives you different things that you can actually do with that particular product. So if I go online, I'm going to show you some examples to show you the licenses and the kind of things that allow you to do. So I just jumped over to exclusiveniches.com. This is one of the many PLR sites online. And I'm looking at a YouTube Your Way to Success resale rights book. So you can see there, this is resale rights. So typically when you go and buy any of these books, it'll give you a description of exactly what's in the book, what the contents are. And then if you scroll right to the bottom, you'll see there's some more details. So if you look at the license details, you can sell the ebook to your customers. You can obviously keep 100% of the profit if you do that. 
Um, the next three, you need to have it in PDF format. So they want you to make sure you're not going to change it in any way. Um, you can give it away. You can use it as a bonus. So if you're an affiliate marketer, you can use this as one of your bonuses. You include it in a membership site. It can be combined with other offers and sold as a package. So if you had a number of eBooks around this topic, you could sell them as a package. But essentially what that's telling me is they don't want you to change this in any way. They want you to make sure that the original author, the original design is all kept intact. So you can't include it within website flips. So if you're going to create a website and build content into it and then try and sell it, they're saying they don't want you to sell this as part of that website flip. You cannot sell the resale rights to other customers and you cannot sell the private label rights to other customers. So that's a typical resale rights license. If I now go up to MMR and I'll show you a typical MMR license. This one, I've just chosen an internet marketing for complete beginners, MMR ebook. Again, if I scroll down, to the bottom and again let's go through the license details for an MMR type product yes it can be sold yes it can be used for personal use yes it can be packaged with other products yes it can be modified and change the sales letter so as I said earlier in some MMR products you are allowed to change things slightly what they're saying on this is they don't want you to change the actual product yourself but only the kind of advertising material around it it can be added to paid membership websites it can be offered as a bonus you can use it to build a list, you can print, publish it offline, you can convey and sell personal rights, you can convey and sell resale rights, and you can convey and sell master resale rights. So for this one, they're actually at, they're actually saying that you can um, sell master resale rights with it as well. So it's a very useful one, this probably to buy, because it allows you to sell that master resale rights on. So because this is an MMR product, you don't have the flexibility of PLR, so saying you can't modify or change the product, you can't modify or change the graphics or the e-cover, you can't put your name on the sales letter, you can't give it away for free, you can't add it to free membership sites, and you can't sell the private label rights. So you can see there, there's a lot more restrictions when you're using MMR than when you're using PLR. So a typical PLR license would really be, you can do pretty much anything to that product because you've got full rights to edit and modify that in any way. The only thing you can't do with a PLR product is actually add your copyright to that particular product. So we've gone through the licenses. I just wanted to go through a few pros and cons with you. So let's talk about the pros first. Um, PLR is cheap, um, especially when you think about how much it would cost to produce a product like this yourself. It could be thousands of dollars. If you get a really good copywriter, you get a graphic designer, it could be thousands of dollars to actually produce something like this because you're sharing the cost because somebody else has actually built it. It can be relatively cheap for the actual packages you get. Um, you can edit it in any way. You can rebrand it in any way, which means it's very flexible. If I start off with an ebook, I can edit that into a video. I do actually have another video on my channel that shows exactly how I've gone from purchasing an ebook to actually editing a video and then putting it on YouTube. So check out that one if you're interested in doing that. You do get a lot of resources with the PLR materials. So when you download it, you'll get a, a zip file typically. And in that tick file, you'll get the graphics, you'll get the sales page, you'll get the ebook itself, you'll get a Word version of the ebook so you can adapt it. So there's many, many graphics that you can actually get with that particular product. To make it SEO friendly for an article type website, for instance, you will need to adapt it. So you would need to change, say, 25 to 50% of it. But as long as you do that, the Google will recognize that as a individual unique type product. But you do need to put the work in obviously to kind of do that to make sure it is unique. And you can add it to your own website. So if you've got a membership site and you had a piece of PLR that you could split into various articles, you could then post them on your own blog or you can post them on your own membership site and it helps with your content. So you don't have to come up with completely unique content all the time. You can add pieces of PLR to the overall website and then make sure you, you're refreshing that content on a regular basis. So it's very useful to give you some quantity of content that you can go and use. Now the cons, if you don't change it and you don't adapt it in any way, it will get flagged as duplicate content. So if you're trying to break this up and you're trying to use it on various other sites, then you will be penalized by Google in a way because it'll be looking at this and saying it's duplicate content. And things like SEO won't be as effective. So bear in mind that when you buy any kind of PLR, you do need to adapt it in some way. So it can be very low quality. There is a lot of rubbish out there. So be careful where you buy PLR. 
I will make a future video where I'll go through some of my recommended places to buy it. But do some research before you go ahead and purchase it because you don't want to end up with something that you have to adapt too much because if you have to adapt it completely, it's pointless buying it in the first place. So do some research and only buy high quality PLR. If not formatted, it can be difficult to sell. If you only got resale rights to a product, for instance, that product could have been sold to multiple other people and they could all be trying to sell the same product. So you're better off buying a PLR type product where you can adapt it and change it and reformat it and make sure it's unique and it's your own than just purchasing a resale rights product. Keep a lookout for PLR products rather than looking at things like resale rights if the aim is that you want to sell it yourself. And of course it takes time to edit. I do have a few other videos that show you exactly how to edit PLR but that does obviously take time. But in the end it is worth it I think because once you come up with your own unique product it is a shortcut to really get in a product that you can call your own and beginning to market it. So it's a lot quicker than obviously trying to develop it from scratch. Hey, so I hope you found that video useful. Just wanted to go through some basics around licensing online. In my next video, I'm gonna show you 10 ways that you can actually use PLR online and the different ways you can make money with it. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you want to know the way that I make money online, please go ahead and check out the link in the description below.